What up, YouTube? Double R Life. Came downstairs to get a um, half ass Jay the uh, camera. So half ass Jay could get a head start on doing the panels. I gotta handle some stuff. So he's not much of a camera guy, so bear with him. But he's coming right now, so I'm gonna give him the camera so he can start up on the panels. I'm gonna meet up with him later on today or tomorrow to give him a hand. A few moments later. I'm gonna be painting these door panels. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta prep the door pan as well. So what I usually do, I get a little soap and water, and I can scrub brush, money, and I'm gonna scrub them all down. And then after that, I'll show you, gonna scuff them up. Right now, I'm just gonna soak them all down and I'll come back. Just really soak it down, really get all the, all the grease off. But that's just gonna be the problem when you paint. So you gotta get all the grease and grease off the panel. So this is, I say 90% of the work, and the paint is the easy part. So the better you prep your, your surface, the better your paint will stick, and the longer the last. So that's the number one job. So, you know, spend more time cleaning, and then, like I say, your job looks good and it last long. All right, so I'll get back to you after I'm cleaning and give you a look. So then after you scrub it down with some soap and water, you know, you hand towel it dry, you know, just slide up as best as you can. You got an air blower that helps too, you can get all the water out of the crevices, but I don't have one. Right here, just dry it like you could with the towel. Alright, dry them down. You know, sit them off to the side, let them air dry. Then we'd be ready for the next step. So I'm gonna dry these off and then I'll show you the next step. Alright, so here we go again. So after you soak the panels down, you wanna scrub them well, wash them real good, right? You know, make them nice and clean. So then you're gonna take this scuff pad, get this from AutoZone, Home Depot, anywhere. This is a 360 grit scuff pad. So after you wash it all down, you let it dry. You want to take this and you want to scuff the whole panel. I already did, so you can see it's kind of dull looking. It's not as shiny. So you want to knock all that shininess off so the paint can adhere. You know what I mean? So that's the goal. Just kind of get everything scuffed down, clean it up real good. And after you scuff it down, you want to get yourself some alcohol and you're going to wipe the whole panel down. Every little inch wipe everything down because you want to get any little contaminants you might have put on with your hands so you want to wipe everything down with some alcohol <laughs> then after you do that let that dry up for a little while and then you're ready for paint all right so i'll get back to you when i'm ready to paint so right now i'm about to wipe down with some alcohol and i'll get back to you when i'm ready to paint i got the first coat if you've been watching the channel you know the it's going red and black red up top black on the bottom that's just the theme I mean, so as like I said, when you painting, you just gotta make sure you stay away, keep the can moving, and light coats, light coats. Don't ever try to do it all in one coat, because it'll come out real bad. So, you know, just be patient, light coats, until you get full coverage. But it's just the first coat, as you see, you know, you, you need some more. That's how you want a light coat, just to get it ready for the next. And the next one, you go just a little heavier, and so on. Next, you know, and as you get to the third coat, you go heavy until you got full coverage. All right. So I get back to you after the second coat, so you can see what it looks like. We got that second coat on there. See, it's looking much better. The coverage is a lot better. Mm -hmm. That's the second coat, and you'll see how it changes from that second coat to that third coat. Ready to start popping more. You know what I mean? I'll show you that final coat. 
and then I'm gonna show you how we get to that black, how we tape off and get ready for the black. All right, so here go the finished red. See, it's covered well. All right. So that's the finished red. So now what I'm about to do is I'm gonna get into the black. These are two panels I've done already. You know what I mean? So the red is done. It had a day to dry. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask off the red so I can do the black. All right, so I'm gonna mask it off and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I started the masking. So like I said, first thing you wanna do, the same thing as when you get ready for paint, the prep is everything. You wanna put more time to your prep and your paint. So as you can see, I have a line already there. So what I did was I ran the tape just a tad bit longer and then I tucked it inside that little gap. So now when I go over the black, I know I'm not gonna have no overspray because it's tucked underneath. You know what I mean? So you want to just make sure you do that. So then what I like to do is I like to leave the tape hanging over just a little bit like that. So now when I put my bag or whatever I'm going to put to cover it, I just stick it right to there. And then we cover this whole red part and then we get to the bottom and we get the black. Excuse my recording if it's terrible. This is not what I do. I'm the guy that does the work. But the guy that records, he's not here right now. So I guess I got to do both today. All right, so I get back to you after I bag it up and then show you what it looks like. Here we go. So look, that's it, some blue tape and a black garbage bag, nothing fancy. All you wanna do is make sure you cover your hard work. So when you paint that black, you don't mess it up. You know I mean? Excuse my recording, like I said. Let's see if y'all like my table. 67 Impala right there. But yeah. That's it, so I'm gonna mask this one off too. Then I'm gonna start on the black, and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. All right, I just wanted to get a quick shot of them. It's getting a little dark now, but you know, that's the finished product right there. Came out real good. Still got a little more touches to do to it. Do a little red handle, you'll see that in the next video. But yeah, man. Came out real nice, real nice. You know what I mean? Real nice. So, yeah. but these are the two front door panels. So these are pretty much done. I still gotta finish up my back panel that I got sitting over here on my 67 Impala table. But yeah, these, excuse my crazy recording, but yeah, those are ready for taping and prepping and then I'll do the black on those yeah man it came out real nice you know what I mean so you know check us out there we go one more look at them came out real good real good all right so now I'm starting on these back panels as I showed you before so I'm just gonna show you a little sample how I start getting the paint in so look it's masked off like I showed in the last part um so yeah here we go so basically start off white coat and like i said keep the can moving move over there keep the can moving so i start nice little quick strokes i don't gotta look pretty because it's just the first coat that's what you want to do this quick like you call this like a dust coat it actually helps the paint stick better so you don't want to go too heavy because you go too heavy it looks like you get a run. Oh, you know, it just ain't gonna, it's not, just not gonna stick properly. So, you know, you don't want it don't gotta look pretty. I said when I did the red. All right, so we do that. Come over here to the next, next panel. It turned off. No, it's not. Yeah. Tap the screen. Tap the screen? Yeah. So you just do just like that, like I'm doing. Just keep the can moving, never stop. And always try to come off the edge. You don't want to stop in between the panel because you'll leave like a line. So like I said, keep the can moving at all times and just never stop in between. I'm trying not to stop it. Keep the can moving, you'll be fine. All right, yeah. so. 
That's it for the first coat. Call this a little dusting. That's it. All right, so we popping in the panels right now, as you can see. This is the finishing touch. Or what my man, half ass J, did. You know what I'm saying? That's part of the the, the what, what's the name of the crew again? The R R R T7 crew. We're gonna change that soon, but I'm I, I'm be just joking around though. But like I said, this is the finishing touch of the panel right here. You see, we popping in other panel right over there. Like I said, stay tuned for the video on how um how to clean your carpet when you catch when you get a flood in there. So that one's coming soon. You see all the stuff right here, and also stay tuned for what was the aftermath of the, of the duple color. You gonna see that one also. See this, this how it's looking. And also we painted this right here, and the middle console top. Y'all gonna see? You gonna see that soon? Come on, man. What you doing, man? Yeah, but you're gonna, you're gonna see the aftermath. You see, it didn't turn out too great. But stay tuned for that video, though. It's coming soon. We're gonna finish up the panels, and then we're gonna put all the seats in here, and we're gonna show you how everything look all together that we are painting. All right, we're hitting it with that first coat. This is the middle middle console, the panel. We're trying a new paint out, being the fact we had a little trouble with the duplicate color red. This, this one's called Sims. It's way more expensive, $15 a can. This is the one I told him to get. Yeah, this is the one he told me to get. I ain't gonna lie, little hard headed. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to beat the price. And sometimes it, it, it beats you anyway. Let me show you the, um, after he hits that code, let me show you what, what happened right here with the duplicate color. Look, look, you hear, you see, you hear how this sound? Look, look. Even though he's spraying over there, I could, I could peel this right off. Look. I get the point. Look, I peeled it off because it was cracking already. Look, this is the first crack right here. You know what I'm saying? This is the first crack right here. And it started peeling off. It's like I'm peeling it right off. Duplicate color. No bueno, B. No bueno. I'm trying out the Sims right now. I say he just hit it with the first coat. Are you ready, B? Hit it with the first coat. Now As you can see right, right here. Now. Once it's done, like I said, I'm going to let you know the final results. Don't get mad at me because I'm on to the next. All right, so here go the finish and touches. All the doors, I think the door panels are, are, are in. As you can see right here, all the door panels, the black and red look, with the gold 4D carbon fiber, as you can see right here. You know what I'm saying? It came out epic. This is how I expected it. You know what I'm saying? And this is how you, um, you see how it looks, Jay? Yeah, you see the, the gold carbon fiber in there? What you gonna do as the carpet? Keep it black? I don't know, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Anything is possible. You give me an idea. I I, Truthfully, me personally, I would put it red. I was thinking that I too. Y'all swear. swear I was I thinking the same red. shit. What, do the seats black? Huh? Yeah. I was thinking about changing that. Or look. do the seats all black mm -hmm. with the red insert? Exactly. Yeah, I was thinking. I was. You can't go with the seats black with the red stitching. Oh, you could do something like that you know? too. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, man. You no, know, now that I see this, because now I'm changing the idea. I'm gonna paint this red, the dash. So I, I already did this red. So I just I don't want too much red to be repetitive. Right. Yeah, yeah, nah. So now I'm thinking about changing this up. Eventually. Well, yeah. Carpet black. You know, I think you're gonna do the half, the half black. Oh, the half. Yeah. This is gonna be black, okay. red. Right, got you. Yes, yes. So match the top. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you probably could do, do it if you do this black, red with the red carpet. Yes. With the black with the red thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the black seats with the yeah. red insert. I think you'll be alright. It'd be crazy. Right there. Yeah. yeah, definitely, man. It's, it's gonna come out crazy. I'm already loving how these panels is giving the def a crazy look. Know what I'm saying? That's definitely looking crazy. You see, you see the workshop right here. You see me? <laughs> Jay fixing his joint up. This is what the engine's supposed to look like. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna show you mine because mine's embarrassing. I ain't gonna show y'all mine's. Mineembarrassing.com. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but this is just a demo right here. The demo one. So if any of y'all got a Magnum, like I said, we're gonna finish painting up the demo ones and put them up for sale. 
know what I'm saying? And make it look like, you know, a movie. Let me show you the, uh, let me show you these joints one more time. One more time right here before I end this video. But you already know my slogan. If you got a Hemi flown it, if it ain't a VA, I don't want it. Peace.